So it's about 1.30 in the morning. Uh, James and I are fixing to uh, go catfishing. We can't snag paddlefish till 6 in the morning. So we are uh, going to go kill time. That's right. Catching catfish for what the next five and a half hours? Five and a half hours before spoon billing. Before we go spoon billing. Got so, the Capri Sun snacks. Oh, look at there. He got the snacks. It's a big snacking. We got to go get us some energy drinks and then we'll be on our way. Get back to you. Stay tuned. A new line we've been out here we started fishing yesterday at about six o'clock hour and a half away hour and a half south we're about almost 12 hours into fishing overnight you hear their termites sure. kicking on now we just got our lines rigged up so like I was saying, we've been out here fishing for the last 12 hours. We've caught some cats, some nice ones, but uh, they just opened up the floodgates over here. We can't spoonbill snag until 6, 6 a.m., so we're picking up our other lines. We're coming real close to that time. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here in Oklahoma. James pulling that up. So, we're going to get to see if we can't get us a, a spoonbill here real quickly, like. So, we're one hour in. Zero spoonbill. We've seen one pulled out and another one just hooked. So, we're going to keep after it. 100 casts in. 100 casts in, man. Going at it again. We got a spoonbill on. James. Not that little guy that jumped. He's got a pretty good size of hook out there. I've been wearing myself out trying to catch one and he finally got one.
got a double. Try to, yeah, there you go. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and release this guy. We're not gonna keep this one yet. We wanna keep fishing today. There he goes. Off to do it again. Man, he be outdoors. I'm gonna have to start walking forward, he's gonna spool me. You're going to fight the current. You're going to have to slowly gain on it. You don't have much line on here, do Don't let him break it. He spooled me, dude. Oh man, that was a giant fish, dude. I couldn't hold the line no more. Look at what he's doing my finger. He was frying my finger. Trying to hold that, that line back. <sighs> Chavo and I. This is day three. Wait. Three. Yeah. What's today, Sunday? Yeah. Day three, Friday, Thursday. So this is day three of fishing, but day two of being really day two. Yeah. For me, it's day two, but oh, it's yeah. really three three days we've been going at it. Friday, Saturday, and now Sunday. So we'll try it again. Try to catch a spoonbill. Gorgeous land out here. Look at this. Y'all just got to see all the. Oh man, it's freaking awesome out here. Chavo's out running me already. He said, pick it up, people walking in. I caught one yesterday. I hooked another big one, so we're 
out for redemption. I need one, just one, one fine specimen and we can walk away. So let's hope I cast and bring him in right then. Wish us luck. Manny B finally connects. Cast number 2,645. 500, of, 500 yards of line lost in Fort Gibson Dam. And we finally connect. I don't know where his fish is. It's right here in front of us somewhere. Here it is right here. There he comes. I can kind of see it surface. See Manny B down here. No, that's not Manny B. That's Manny B. Coming down. There's your spoonbill right there. Oklahoma paddlefish. It's about time, Captain. It's about time, dude. You grew a beard by the time you got one. There it comes. Got another battle going over here. Some young folk catching some catfish, getting trained up. That's our future generation. Teaching them right, catching blue cats. That's his fish. His manual's down here. Manual making his move for the land. We'll let him get down, we'll follow him down and Watch your mind hook and release. Best part about this place, man, is everybody's helping each other. We don't know anybody here except each other, and everybody here they ain't done nothing but been helpful. Everybody, you lose your weights and hooks, they throw you one. They don't even know your name. They're helping you out, though. See, we don't even know this guy. He's going to go help him try to land fish. Got fish jumping all over the place. People fishing all over the place. Nice cloudy day. It was supposed to be 100 today, but it's probably, I don't know, it's probably 85. Cloudy. Pretty sweet. A little channel cat there. Yeah, they slide. Don't get seen. Guys in there throwing for some shad. Nah, you ain't gonna hurt them. Here, just keep your, uh, let some out while keeping tension and continue walking down the. Nah, I'm gonna man. Y'all doing all right? They're catching a bunch of catfish. I've been after this fish for days. I finally got one. Land this bad boy. Here he comes, the journey. I know it. 
I like traveling up the Arkansas up by like Ralston, Oklahoma. Yeah. Man, we pull some big ones out from there. Even, even on Grand River, man. Hey, Green, Neosho, yeah. yeah. I used to do stagging a lot when I was up and younger now. That's a lot of fucking work for an old man. I'm telling you. I don't like eating them, so it's a lot of work if I don't eat them. And you don't like eating them? I don't eat them. Well, the spoon bill's actually real good. I don't eat fish, but I don't really eat them. Really? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He was eating my hook. Huh? He was eating my hook. There he is. There's his new profile pick. Oh, oh gave him a concussion. There he is. There you go. You about to get fish slapped. He whooped my ass. You gotta see how big he is. He's nice. Let he's probably, him go. Yep, there you go. He's Let's probably, let him go. probably 35. Hang on to him. He wants a photo with you. Oh, come on. Oh, he's got a scale. You're going to weigh him. I'll say 27 and a half. <laughs> They're going to put the scale on them. We see we don't know this guy either. He's, he came all the way down here just to see how we was doing. I don't think there is a slot. Yeah, we can keep whatever. You can keep them baby ones. Yeah. 26.5. I, right. I was close. That was a pound off. I said 27.5. Okay. 26.5. There he goes. Off to get re-snagged in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Manny B, outdoors, hooked up on number two for the day. Fort Gibson Dam has about three miles of line that he's donated in it. He's probably got 73 hooks, 45 weights. Weights. $25, line, $20, hooks, $26. Manny B hooking up, priceless. <laughs> uh, let's see where this one's at. Oh, he's way out there by the buoy line. You're gonna have a hard time getting that one. You may have to let him stay deep so you get around his catfish rods unless he reels them up. Try not to get in the buoy line. Follow him down there and watch him unhook and let him go again. Yeah, <laughs> running fish for you. <laughs> Good luck, man. If he goes over that line, you need to let him go, and then you have to run down that beach. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, you're going to have to run down there. He's already gone. Little by little, he's working out. He's coming this way little by little. He's fighting him here. We're not gonna be able to land this one right here. He's got him out on the buoy line. He's gonna have to scurry down that. Billy goat this stuff. Watch for them people saying bass fishing. And
Hey, you want me to hold your purse so you get that in? So you want me to hold your purse while you drag that? <laughs> it's nice down here. You can come down here, maybe go swimming. It's real shallow. Yeah, water's super clear. A lot of shade. You can walk across here and go like where them fellas out there are. They can wade fish from right there. They catch sand bass, crappie, catfish, obviously spoonbill. Yeah, I don't know what causes that. Like they get rammed or something, I don't know. Or they ram something. I've caught them without the bill. I don't know. Yeah. There's another one, boy. There he goes. A little smaller. Probably 15 to 20 pounder. What we got, Manny? We got us a giant spoonbill on. Pulling line. Oh, look at He's this. He's getting peeled. Chase Ow. him down. Chase Shoot him down. That that's it. Oh, don't lose your tension. That burn, boy. There you go. Keep it on him. Keep working down the wall. There we go. Manny B hooked up on number four or five. I don't know what how many it is. They're definitely in here. They're not in here as thick as they were not long ago, but there's enough to keep you interested anyway I think he's gonna keep this one I think he's gonna keep this one we're gonna take it home see if he maybe wants to do like a catch and clean type scenario maybe we can cut it into steaks and maybe even fry some up bake some grill some shrimp gumbo shrimp stew you know the deal See what all he wants to come up with, and maybe we can do something from there. Man, he's taking him all the way across the country on this one. Let's follow him. I'm not chasing him like it did, but I'll I'll keep up steady back behind him. He's gonna walk all the way down here with these people. He's gonna have to say sorry, sorry. Sorry, fish on! Oh. He's getting his butt kicked. I don't think I have anything to tag this spoonbill with, but we've got to tag it if he keeps it. No big deal, we'll find something. I've got some stuff that I use to tag deer with in the car I think or my wallet or something we'll uh we'll at least get it legal somehow whether it's zip ties or whatever but you got to have your full name and your Oklahoma CID just like processing a turkey or a deer or whatever else big game animal I guess he's going to want to walk all the way down here Chase him down. He's walking all the way down here with him.
There we go. You gotta be able to bring him in here. It's a little easier if you have a bigger reel, maybe with some larger cranking power. Sometimes we use these smaller reels just because it's what we got at that time. And they don't really have the torque you need to get a big fish in sometimes. So you kind of got to, the fish has the advantage and you just kind of got to go with it. You get bigger, you get you some bigger uh, reels. You know, you can put some heavier test line and you can pretty much make the fish do what you want it to do. You don't have to finesse it near as much, but. This is a good one. This is probably a big fish of the day so far. He's probably 35 pounds. He may be 40 if you don't let him get back in there. This is about the biggest one he's caught today. Actually, I know it is. Like it's not even. It's not even comparison. Grab his tail and his bill. There you go. He ain't going nowhere. You got him. Run your hand up through his uh, gill. Run your hand up through his gill. Yeah, now just run it smooth up his mouth from there like you would a stringer. There you go. We'll put a tag on him. This was getting tagged, so we'll hold it like that. Yeah, this one's going home with us. Him in the TT. Manny B's harvest. This one's going home and we'll string it up in the tree and let it do what it do. And we'll be uh we'll be back with you here in a little while.